You can tell that we are excited about Jesus coming. Uh, my name is Laura DeRoos. I'd like to welcome those of you who are here in the building with us. We're so thankful that we can be in person this year. And also welcome those of you who have joined us by live stream. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and um, I hope that you enjoy the program. Uh, it is such a blessing that we are at a Christian school where we can celebrate the true meaning of Christmas. And I have to be honest with you, of all the concerts we do, this is my favorite one because it's such a great way to enter the Advent season. And so um, at, at this point, I'm going to turn things over to our elementary teachers and our students, uh, and they are going to share with you about the hope that we have in Jesus. Christmas is coming. It's almost here, the day we celebrate the greatest gift of all. It didn't come in a box, and it wasn't tied with a bow. This gift came from God, and he planned it long, long ago, before the first star ever twinkled in the sky. God told his prophets about his plan, and the prophets told the people, when the time is right, God will send his own son. He will come from Bethlehem, and he will save the people from their sins. Get ready, the prophets said, because the prophets knew, and we know too, Christmas is coming.
Soon the ruler of the land sent out an order. Everyone, go back to your hometown and be counted. So Joseph and Mary traveled to faraway Bethlehem, where Joseph's family was from. But when they arrived, there was no one had a room where they could stay. Still, Joseph and Mary knew, and we know too, Christmas is coming. That night, Mary and Joseph stayed with the animals. That's where Jesus, the Son of God, was born. Not in a palace, not in a home of his own, not anywhere special at all. Mary wrapped him up snug and warm and laid him in a manger. All the animals knew, and we know too, Christmas had finally come.
out in the fields, shepherds watched over their sheep. Suddenly, an angel appeared with wonderful news. Your Savior has been born. You'll find him sleeping in a manger. Then angels filled the sky, singing glory to God and peace on earth. All the angels knew, and we know too, Christmas had finally come. The shepherds hurried to see the baby the angels sang about. They found Jesus in the manger, just as they had been told, and they praised God for the one he had sent to save them. The shepherds knew, and we know too, Christmas had finally come.
Far across the world, a star shone bright in the sky. Wise men from the east followed it all the way to Jesus. When they saw him, they worshipped Jesus and gave him gifts and treasures fit for a king. The wise men knew, and we know too, Christmas had finally come. Every year we remember that first Christmas when God gave the world his greatest gift. The, great, the gift of his very own son. Because Jesus was born in Bethlehem long, long ago, all our sins can be forgiven and we can be close to God again. You see, God always knew, and now you know too, and that's why Christmas is coming.
like to thank you again for coming. I would like to thank our teachers, uh, Mrs. Culbertson, Mrs. Lee, Mrs. Uh, Mensch, and Mrs. Lovelace, and our classroom aides as well. Uh, you can imagine that a lot of work goes into a program like this, and so we just really appreciate all of their time and energy. Um, I did want to mention tonight before we leave that we have just started our tuition assistance drive and if you are interested in partnering with our school on the back of your program there's instructions for how you can do that and um, we have one more song to sing. We're going to sing Away in a Manger and the first time through the children will all sing but the second time through we'd like you to sing with us. And then when we finish the song, the students will go back to the classroom where you dropped them off at the beginning of the program. And they're going to get a little cake pop from their teacher. And we do have a limited supply of extra cake pops for siblings in the hallway right by the door on your way out. And so um, if you're here as a brother or sister, you can stop by and get one of those too. So let me pray for us and then we'll close our evening. Oh, Father in heaven, we thank you for the hope that we have in Jesus. We thank you for sending Jesus so many years ago uh, to live on this earth and to be our Savior. And we thank you that he is coming again. Lord, uh, bless us as we go this evening and bless these children as they experience the wonder of Christmas this year. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.